Hello everyone, thank you for joining Remote Sensing and GIS question and answer session series. In today's question, we'll see how we can able to calculate the area of a land use land cover using the QGIS. So I have already prepared the land use land cover map. If you want to know how to prepare the land use land cover map, you can visit our channel. Because Kadamoda channel is there. In that channel, you will see one video that is a land use land cover. Okay. So I have already prepared the land use land cover. If you're interested, you can watch this video. And after after watching this video, you can come to this video and you can able to calculate the area for the land use land cover map. So uh, here I have created a classification. You will see the blue color indicating the water body and this blue color indicating this is the river area and this is the reddish area is indicating there is a built up area and color indicating the agricultural land. Okay. So how we can able to calculate the area for this just need to go to SAP plugins. These plugins will already installed from here. When you will prepare the land use land cover map. So after go to SCV plugins, we just need to go on post processing. In the post processing, there is an option classification report. Just click on the classification report. Here we need to select this LULC map three for which map we are doing this. So just need to select LULC map three. And after that, click on the run means where you want to save this file. So just click on the run and you need to choose a folder where you want to save your file. Okay, so I'm saving in this folder. I will provide a name here that is. LULC area and this this will save in dot csv file format so just click on the save now it will classify and it will give a accurate area means how much water body is there in our area so if you see here the this triple nine the area which is no data value is there basically and uh, that also i will show you which it is showing but first you understand this this is the one number one number is a water body then this two number is for our river area and if you'll see here the percentage is showing okay so six number is agriculture area so most of the area is agriculture and after that this three number is mostly built up land this area we don't want okay so how to remove this that also i will show so what i will do i will just open this file in qgs then you'll understand so just go to layer add layer add raster layer and this llc map 3 i will take add and close when i will go to properties when i will classify this apply okay you will see this portion this blue portion that is not coming in our map so that area is also able to that area is also getting calculated here we don't want this area because our study area is this much of only. So I want area for this much of area only. Okay. So how we can able to calculate this. So we have already calculated the area here. Okay. So we have saved this file in CSV file format. So just need to open our Excel file. Okay. So let will open that file insert just need to go data okay from text or csv so our csv file is there just click here and i'll go to a folder where i'm working the desktop and workshop in the workshop there is a folder lulc classification and here is the lulc area which we have calculated just click on the import and just click on the load option okay so you will see this area is also coming here so what we are not interested on this area so you can delete this area okay and we can convert this into square kilometer okay so area in sq square kilometer will calculate so we'll calculate this, uh, so we'll calculate area in square kilometer. So just press here equal, this square meter divided by one and six zero we need to dial. Six zero we need to add, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so <clears throat> what we what we can do now, this is not an 100%, okay. So we'll calculate the percentage okay 
So how to calculate percentage? So just double click here. Okay. So first calculate the total area. So click on the sum. This is the total area and equal. Okay. So just click on the this divided by total area into 100. So we are getting the percentage. So mostly 91 percentage. So this I don't want. I will remove this percent column. Okay. So now if you'll see the sum. So this is the hundred percent. So you will see this in this map. The most of the area is covered by the agriculture land, then followed by the built up land. So in this classification, as we have seen, so most of the area is agriculture, then built up and all that. So that this, whatever you are seeing, triple minus triple N is for this area and that we don't want. So you can remove that area also. So this way very easily you can able to calculate the area for the land use land cover. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comment section. Our telegram group link is given in the description box. If you're interested, you can join. Thank you.